Exterior, waterfall, day. Frisk is running for my nan again. His phone rings. He answers it. Hello, human. You might be wondering how I got your number. Well, I dialed all the numbers sequentially until I got yours. The real reason I called you was because I was wondering if we could hang out with Undyne at her house. You know, just you, me, and her. I'd love to, but I'm a little busy right now. That's okay. We can hang out later. Bye, human. He hangs up. Exterior, bridge to Hotland, day. Frisk has reached the end of the bridge in Hotland. Undyne lags behind. Armor. So hot. But I can't. Give up. She collapses. Frisk goes to the same water cooler as before and fills a cup of water. He pours it on Undyne. Undyne gets up and looks around. She begins to walk off before Frisk calls after her. Hey, Undyne! Undyne turns around. My friend Papyrus called. Papyrus? He asked if the three of us could hang out at your house. Uh, exterior, outside Undyne's house, day. Papyrus is waiting outside. Frisk joins him. Oh ho, the human arrives! Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends. Stand behind me. He faces the door. Frisk is already behind him. Psst, make sure to give her this. She loves these. He slips Frisk a small box. Then he knocks on the door. Undyne answers. Hey, Papyrus, ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am, and I brought a friend. He steps aside, revealing Frisk. Hey, I don't think we've met. A long pause as she realizes who he is. Why don't you two come in? Papyrus and Frisk go inside. Interior, Undyne's house, day. Here, Undyne, my friend bought a gift for you on his own. Frisk hands Undyne the box. She scowls at it. Then she tosses it in a drawer full of several identical boxes. Whoopsie, I just remembered I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun. He jumps out the window. Frisk and Undyne stare. So what are you doing here? I thought I'd turn down your offer. Do you really think we can be friends? Yeah. That's great. Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship. Not. Why would I ever want to be friends with you? Get out of my house. Papyrus peeks his head in the window. Dang, what a shame. I thought the human and Undyne could be friends. But I guess I was wrong. Undyne just wasn't up to the challenge. He exits. Challenge? Well, I can make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be besties. Why don't you have a seat? Frisk sits down at the table. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. She goes to the fridge and gets some drinks. She places them on the counter. All set. What would you like? Frisk starts to get back up, but Undyne throws a spear at the table. He sits back down. You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. I'll get the drink for you. Uh, uh, why not use the spear to point at what you want? Frisk picks up the spear and points it at the soda bottle. Soda? I see you're pointing at it, but you don't look happy. That's fine. I think soda's gross, too. It rots your fighting spirit! Frisk points at the box of sugar. That's the sugar. It's for the tea. Frisk points at the tea box. Tea, huh? Coming right up. She puts a pot of water on the stove. A few moments of awkward silence. Then the teapot begins to whistle. She pours it into two cups and puts a tea bag and some sugar into each. She hands a cup of tea to Frisk and sits down at the table next to him. Careful, it's hot. Frisk stares at the tea. Then he tentatively takes a sip. It's funny that you chose golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Come to think of it, you remind me of him. You're both total weenies. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once I tried to fight Asgore. I couldn't land a single blow on him. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he asked if I wanted to know how to beat him. I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, I finally knocked him down, and he was beaming. I'd never seen someone so proud to get their butt kicked. Now I'm head of the Royal Guard, so I'm the one who gets to train dorks how to fight. Like Papyrus. To be honest, I don't know if I can ever let him into the Royal Guard. It's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's too innocent and nice. I mean, he made friends with you. He was supposed to capture you. That's why I started teaching him how to cook, so, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. Wait. Papyrus is cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now! And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him! She jumps on the table. She grabs Frisk by the shirt collar and drags him to the counter. Let's start with the sauce! 
She stomps her foot. Vegetables fall onto the counter. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemies. Now pound them to dust with your fists. Frisk lightly pets the vegetables in an affectionate manner. Oh my god, you do not pet the enemy! She pounds the vegetables with her fists. They splatter onto the walls everywhere. We'll uh, scrape that into a bowl later. Let's get to the noodles. She stomps her foot again. A pot and a box of noodles fall under the stove. Put the noodles in the pot! Frisk places the noodles in, one at a time. Uh, nice. Now you stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is! Frisk begins stirring the pot. Stir it harder. Frisk stirs harder. Harder. Frisk stirs even harder. Harder. Frisk stirs as hard as he can. On nine sighs. Let me do it. She summons a spear and jams it into the pot a few times. That's the stuff. Now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Frisk turns up the dye on the stove. The fire underneath gets bigger and bigger. Hotter. 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 Darn it. Exterior. Outside Undine's house. Day. Frisk and Undyne are standing outside. The house is burning. Man, no wonder Papyrus sucks a cookie. So, what's next? A long pause. Who am I kidding? I can't make you like me. It's a good thing we're not friends. It means I can destroy you without regret! She summons a spear and points it at Frisk. I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I've even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch, all out of both sides, is the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now come on, hit me with all you've got! Frisk looks at her nervously, then he pretends to punch her. That's the best you can manage. You just can't muster any intent to hurt me. She drops her spear. Now I know you're not just a wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. That was fun. We'll have to ha hang out another time. Could you do me a favor? She hands Frisk a letter. Please deliver this to Dr. Alphys. If you need me, I'll be at Papyrus's. She walks off. Exterior. Outside Alphys's lab. Day. Frisk slides the letter underneath the door to Alphys's lab. Oh, no, is that another letter? I don't want to open it. No, I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. A long pause. Then she opens the door. Oh, my God. Did you write this letter? That's adorable. I had no idea you wrote that way. You know what? I'll do it, okay? Do what? You know, go on a date. She goes back inside. What have I done? Uh, sorry, I'm still getting dressed. She comes out in a spotted dress. How did I look? Let's start the date. Do you like anime? Sure. Really? Me too. Hey, let's go somewhere. But where's a good place to go on a date? Pause. I know. How about the garbage dump? Exterior. Junkyard. Day. Here we are. And I, and I come here all the time. We find all sorts of neat stuff. Hey, that's her over there. I can't let her see me on a date with you. She hides behind a trash can. Enter Rundine. Hi, I have realized if you don't over that thing, it might be a bad thing. So I'm going to do it. Give it to me. Too late, I already did it. Do you know where she is? Uh, he looks over at the trash can. Nope. But she wasn't at home. Where is she? She walks off. Alphys comes out. Well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, uh, I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. And I'm the person I, am. Um, really want to go on a date with. She's so confident and strong and funny. I'm just a nobody. I've told her so many lies. She thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? Just tell her the truth. But if I tell the truth, she'll hate me. Isn't it better this way, to live a lie where both people are happy? They say be yourself, but I don't really like who myself is. Blanc pause. No, you're right. Every day I'm scared of what will happen if people find the truth on their own. But how can I tell other the truth Undyne comes back. Hey, Alphys, your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Wait a second. Are you still on a date? Uh, yes, I mean, uh, no, I mean... What? I mean, uh, I've been lying to you. Those human history books I told you about were just comic books. The human history movies, they were just anime. I just wanted to impress you. I really think you're neat, okay? I didn't want you to think I was just a nerdy loser. And then hugs Alphys around the shoulders. Alphys, shh, shh. 
She picks Alphys up and throws her into the trash can. Alphys, you gotta realize most of what you just said doesn't really matter to me. All that stuff you, it's just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate. It doesn't matter what it is, you care about it. 100% maximum power. I don't want you to lie to me. I want you to be happy with who you are. And I know just the training you need to do that. I'm not in me. You're gonna train me? <laughs> me? Papyrus appears out of nowhere. Now I'm gonna get Papyrus to do it. Got those bones shaking. It's time to jog a hundred laps hooting and hollering about how great we are. Undyne, I'll do my best. She and Papyrus jog off. Undyne and Frisk watch. Then Undyne turns back to Frisk. Oh my god, she's kidding, right? Anime's real, right? Uh, if my definition of real and your definition of real are the same, then yeah. <laughs> I knew it! Gigantic swords, magical princesses, here I come! Well, I gotta go catch up with Alphas, bye! She jogs off. Frisk begins walking out of the garbage dump. He gets a call from Papyrus. If it isn't my good friend who trusts me, Alphys and I finished our training early, very early. So I sent her home, very home. Uh, now, I also strongly feel like you should go to her lab house. I only have good feelings about this. Goodbye!